Ooh. Ooh. Blumhouse is the craft reboot is reportedly coming Ooh. to VOD this October. Fuck. That soon? Who's even in it? Does Blumhouse do anything original? Nope. No, I don't think so. Hello and welcome to another nice package. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. Ka oh, it's very tight today actually. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> So I wish. I, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about, I'm going to say nine to ten packages. What have you got today? <laughs> okay, I'm going to say the same. Oh! Because I think I might have the same. Okay. Okay. Do you go wanna, first. Well, I go first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go you first. said it's off. Oh, wait, oh, oh, did you say welcome back to my I, I said welcome back to And then we did ka -ching. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know where I am. What year is it? <laughs> what year is what? it? You know that Ben Jumanji and Ron Williams is like, that's what I feel like. Today. I don't even know if anyone knows what year it is anymore. 2020, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. Oh, first. Oh. 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 Another Philip Coe. Another Philip Coe. This is getting and exciting. The number one Philip Coe. <gasps> so the number one edition of Philip Coe, uh, the Philip Coe collection from Germany, from Vision Video. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate thing with this is it's only... German language, but for oh, the well, price it was on shame. eBay, I, and because it's part of that collection, being a collector, I thought, fuck it, I'll just take it. Um, you carry Oshima, and Robert. Robin Show again, obviously. I'm not too sure who this young lady is, uh, Dion Lam, who is a massive fight choreographer and action star. Very sexy. He's behind it. It, yeah. It's one I've been waiting to get for a long time, and if Phil that girl is in that movie with that gun. These Sold. two, as far as I'm aware, they play like silent assassins where they like, they load each other's guns with their feet and stuff. Ooh. So I'm kind of excited to see it. It's, it's old school Hong Kong. It's directed by Philip Ko. Um, and I think because that was the first one, they only released it in German. Mm. I think maybe two or three on, they started putting the English tracks on because they knew how popular they were going to be. Yeah. So that's Do you know I used first. to be able to type with my toes? So did um, Fact based. What did you call your man? Yeah. From my left foot. I could Oh Daniel Day Lewis, <laughs> Christy Brown. It's actually true, I did. It is true. I could write hello. Wow, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and next week we'll all have a type. At one, all at one time as next well. <laughs> <laughs> next week we'll have a typewriter just yeah. to prove it. Yeah. Okay. That's my party trick. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your party okay. trick. I've seen your party trick. What's my, what is my We can't trick? put it on film. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. mm -mm. So I went for them. Oh. So I, this is two, but it's the one film. Okay. So I got... Warriors oh, of the Rainbow. You did. I did, yep. What? So I got um, Warriors of the Rainbow. This is a, for anybody that does not know, this is a Taiwanese epic. Mm -hmm. um, and it's... I actually, actually have been waiting to see this film. <laughs> They're amazing. Um, so it comes, so there's two different versions. So they released it like they did oh. with Red Cliff. They did a theatrical release gotcha. version, and then which is like a cut. two and a half hours, which is this one. And they have likened it to Braveheart and Last of the Mohicans, which is actually quite factual. Okay. Uh, but do you know what I find? It's more like Apocalypto. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it has that kind of vibe because it's all like set in the Taiwan yeah. jungle. Yay. and It's really, really good. So it's oh, it's excellent, excellent. But the exciting Ooh. part... Um, oh, so this I had to get. This is from um, Wellgo USA. Mm -hmm. They released this, so I had to get it imported from the US of A, and it was only nine ninety nine. That's pretty good. For, yeah, for it's, well it wasn't, yeah, yeah. yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, which is why I got it. But so. is this um, the full film on one? No. Okay. Well, this is the full theatrical film on oh, one. Okay. Okay. okay so gotcha. this is the theatrical version, clocking in 152 minutes. Still quite lengthy. Not bad. Not any longer than the 800, which seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, there's only a making of behind the scenes and okay. some things like the visual effects. It's not a great. Yeah, um, I mean, well, go really don't overload their things, don't. especially. Do you like the little cover, and then you have your single disc on the inside um, and it's great but then I was like oh because I did the same with Radcliffe I bought mm. the theatrical cut yeah. and then I got the part one part and two one, this two. is okay. four and a half hours two more hours of footage produced by John Woo produced by John Woo he also produced Radcliffe yeah and I'm still and dying to see um, 
The Crossing. Oh, I know. That's oh, such a hard one. If anyone knows so where yes. we can find John Woo's The Crossing, please let us know. Please do, because I really, really want to see it. So this is the four and a half hour one. I mm. watched this just because I had to. So um, it's freaking incredible. Okay. I mean, it's even better than the theatrical cut, and it has two discs Happy in this days. one. You have, um, some, you have a big documentary, the epic, or the oh. epic journey, which is on the making of the film. Awesome. And where um, did you get this one? Also, it's a Wago USA title, oh, and oh. Um, it was also on Amazon for nine ninety nine. I don't know whether they had a stroke and reduced all the prices, what? but yeah, fabulous. Amazon.com? Amazon.com. You can mm. only get it .com. Scratching my nose behind this thing, which is why it's taking me so long. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, okay. yes, really, really lovely. It's excellent. I would recommend it if you're into your epics, mm. if you like... Things which are grand in scale and look stunning and just have like this big rising score. For four and a half hours? I'm For four and a half hours. I mean, well, literally, it's more because you have to watch both versions because well, it's yeah. just so good. But that was my first buy. Awesome. That's yeah. a great buy, actually. Yeah. Excellent buy. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's been another week of I don't know what. <gasps> Okay, oh, is this one that you didn't know? Okay. So, this is Kung Fu Chefs with Sammo Hung um, and Vanessa Wu. Um, yeah, I mean, Sammo, unless you, you're a massive fan of Sammo, you're not going to, anything after, let's say, 2000, you're really not going to be running to get because mm. he's very, it's been very hit and miss with Sammo. He's been, since, let's say, for the last 20 years, he's been making more of an impression behind the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, and then with his role in the likes of Hitman 2 uh, as action courier for Anna Star in Hitman 2 and also mm -hmm. Rise of the Legend which is now just hit UK Netflix which you need to see oh yes this is like a real dark on. version yeah. of Wong Fei Hung um, but I saw this years ago on YouTube I caught this a really bad version of you it you watched it on YouTube Do you remember really when bad you used to version? Do that? Yeah. yeah well it's because I couldn't find it yeah. and then I found this on eBay for like four ninety nine. so oh uh, yeah does it have I thought English I subs? Did. It has English subs. <gasps> the disc is just just the same as the front cover, which is fine. I don't think there is any special features. It's region <laughs> three, but unless you can read, unless you can read, read Mandarin, then. But it is a fun movie, and I am very excited to see it. Yeah, cool. Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> What's next for me? <gasps> So, I made the mistake with this, we'll um, call this next the, one. the Wreath Russell? The, yeah, it's the Wreath Russell. Mm. Not You're anything to Kurt. Oh, <laughs> it actually sounds a bit on to work. It doesn't mean <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, I made the mistake with this twice of lending this to people, and oh. they never gave them back. So, this is the third time I bought this, okay. and I am not lending it to anybody. Oh, this is one of my favourite directors of all time, Andrei Tarkovsky, the oh, Russian... Right. Auteur. And you lent this whole box set? I lent this box set twice. So the first time, I don't know where the hell it ended up. The second one, I fell out <sighs> with the person that I lent it to. And I, I never gave it back. So now I'm holding on to it for dear life <laughs> because I absolutely <laughs> love Very Tarkovsky. Nice. Um, this has every Tarkovsky film mm -hmm. on it. So okay. you have Ivan's Childhood, Andrei Rublev, which is his big grand epic, mm -hmm. Solaris, which is probably the one that most people know that Would he know. directed. Um, Stalker, Mur, Nostalgia, and the Sacrifice, all very existential, metaphysical. There, it's very he's nice. a, he's an amazing director mm -hmm. in terms of it, like he's a real singular visionary, and I really like that about directors who don't conform yeah. to this the standards. What the what a, other people the ABC think? formula? Yes, he really yeah. doesn't. And a lot of people bring it. Really, do, please don't go on to Rotten Tomatoes and bring the scores of the, these mm -hmm. movies down. Cunts, because <laughs> because. <laughs> I hate that there are people out there, like young cinephiles, who I think they, ugh, yes. they, they like watch them and they're like, oh, it's so boring, yeah. or it's in black and white, or it's not in English. Yeah. Who cares? He's amazing. So this is really good. It has a lot of interviews and stuff on it. This is from Artificial, Artificial Eye, Eyes, we'll say. who do amazingly well at bringing some really cool some foreign really language. Yeah. And we have all of our discs. And they are beautiful. They so, are. Yeah. Yeah, they are. So you have all um, seven a, films and a sp bonus features feature? disc. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is mostly just interviews. There's nothing really too exciting on mm -hmm. there. But mm -hmm. um, the movies, and this is this was thirty four ninety nine down from fifty four ninety nine on Amazon.co.uk. Not bad. Absolute bargain mm -hmm. for the quality of these films. Mm -hmm. 
It is an absolute must what a delight. have. And every single one of those, sorry, whoopsie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every single one of these films, I would probably say, are in the 100 must see films of all time. Oh, cool. They okay. are stunning, so well acted, so well directed, so well written, beautiful. So, okay. if you're a fan of world cinema, there are two directors that are a must Ingmar Bergman and Andrei oh, Tarkovsky. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so check it out. So, yes, you can get this on Amazon for $34.99 at the moment. Yay! Well! Oh, you're not going to see what's in there. You're not going to look in your box. Don't look in my box. <laughs> we talked about this one. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Couldn't bear the fake surprise there. <laughs> this is the, <laughs> the invincible. What's it called? Invincible. Oh. Power George of Kindness. Oh, right, okay. The Invincible Power of Kindness, which is actually called A Warrior's Tragedy. There's three versions of this released. <gasps> a Taiwanese version, a Chinese version, and an international version. I have a funny a wide site. I think this is the, sh the shortest version of it. Oh. So it's cut by probably a good half an hour. Oh, but it was, it was on eBay for three quid, and it came with a free movie, like a free disc. Ooh. Ooh. Which isn't there. <laughs> I must uh, get in touch about that. But yeah, the invincible power. Who's kind of the buyer? Bad feedback. Stars T Lung, the famous T Lung from Shaw Brothers, mm -hmm. and is written and directed and starring Frankie Chan, who has a very hit and miss quality about him. He's worked with Jackie on most of Jackie's uh, projects, although they're not related. Um, but he was also the bad guy. If anyone has seen The Prodigal Son with Yoon Byo and Sam Hung, mm -hmm. well, he was the bad guy with the rings. Mm. I love Frankie Chan. He's He's an odd character, but he makes, as you were saying, he doesn't conform to anything. Mm -hmm. And his his movies are just so off the wall. This is based on an old uh, novel, mm -hmm. Chinese novel. So I'm excited to see it, although because it's a shortened version, you know, I know there's going to be a better version out yeah. there. Yeah, but she just have to find now. Uh, I will find it. You'll find although it. Although it is a, it's a tricky one to find. Yeah. But there we are. A Warrior's Tragedy, also known as... The Invincible Is there of a kindness. specific distributor? Uh, this is Wide Sight, but again, okay. because it's the shortest version, I wouldn't say rush for it. I would say look for another copy. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Yeah. This is uh, the burnt English and Chinese subtitles on it. You know, so you don't Oh, you don't so you've select. got the, like, like with the 800 the other night where it was like the... Yeah, it's just, the both. Mandarin and the English, oh, so yeah. this, uh, which is not very distracting. It's not but. terrible, but you've also got the, you can pick from the Cantonese and the Mandarin version of audio. Oh, that I like. Mm. Because they usually, I mean, most they of them speak Mandarin and then yeah. they give. Wasn't Cantonese, just like trivia fact, wasn't Cantonese spoken mostly in Hong Kong and it was like yeah, an, was right. an anglicized version was, of Chinese? So it was, yeah, so more okay. of a simplified, but... It's kind of, that's where the likes of Chow Sin Chi and all his comedies are funny because there's so many different ways to alternate words there. Mm. And that's where the humour comes out. Um, yeah. Whereas the Mandarin comedy is different. Okay. So, yeah, but this will be in Cantonese and that's what I'll be watching it in. Okay. I just kind of enjoy Cantonese a bit more because I've been used to it. Yeah, for so long. Yeah, it was kind of when Crouching Tiger came in, then the Mandarin really started hitting mm -hmm. and everything's become... The big Chinese epics have all become more popular then, mm -hmm. so only the last 20 years. But yeah, Woo! happy with that. Awesome. My next one I'm super happy about. <laughs> the Wraith Wrestle. Um, <laughs> oh fuck, I can't get it right. That's what he said. That's what he used to say. I love this. No, what is it? This is a Criterion Collection film. It's called The Lure. Mm, it looks gorgeous. This is not what you'd expect. This is a Polish film. About mermaids. Right. And it's a musical fantasy horror. Oh, right, okay. It is actually, I went to see this in the cinema and I didn't know that it was actually released on the Criterion Collection. I love my Criterion sets. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, I have to get it because it's so out there. So it's bizarre. so innovative, so hmm. original. Okay. It's only an hour and a half. Um, I don't know what they, they... I can't pronounce the girl's name who directed this. Mm -hmm. I, I really, really can't. I tried even... Is there anything... Google it would, pronunciation. Could, uh, it would relate to in terms of other films. It's similar to... It is a... It's actually inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid. 
Oh, right, okay. Yeah, but much darker. Did you watch Happiness Siren? Of the Katakuris? No, 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 it's dark. Oh, right, okay, okay. This is dark. Um, did you ever see Siren? It was, yes. um, yeah, that mermaid show. It has the darkness right. of Siren, but okay. this kind of like oh. whimsical dark humor mm. about it, and it is absolutely fantastic. Mm. So you have um, a big new documentary on the making of the film. You have two short films that the director directed in mm -hmm. Polish. Deleted Scenes, um, essayist by Angela Lovell, who I absolutely love. She's very, very good essayist. She's done quite a lot. Um, and it's just the most gorgeous. I like that we art piece on the front. Yeah, this was actually the theatrical poster. So it was. And I like whenever posters are... That's how my husband gets on when he's in the um, bath. And then you see this. See that? Lovely. You would think that it's much... That this is when the whimsy comes in. Mm. So you've got a beautiful disc and then you have your... Let's get whimsy. Let's get whimsy. You've got your booklet, which has all of your credits and info and then your essay. Bit okay. like the, the master. Oh, woo! Oh, it does stretch. It's awesome. a big one. It's a long, long booklet. Um, um, how are you? Yes, but nice. yeah, Some so artwork. this film, for anybody that has never seen it and again likes world cinema mm -hmm. give it a shot because it is surprisingly unique okay it really really is and i never when i went to see it i was expecting a film a horror mm. and whenever they started to sing then you were, I you was were like, confused what's going on but i'm <laughs> liking it okay so, well yeah. okay, you've lured me in so but it's know. about kind of like the it's kind of the, the story follows these two sisters who are both mermaids they come onto land they mm. join this like singing like fire, circus almost? no oh, right, okay. um and one falls in love with a human okay nice. and things so it kind of explores like female sexuality and exploitation of women and oh, things like that okay. well exploitation of sea creatures in this in this yeah well particular film but it's it's got a deep message but mm -hmm. it really is a lot it is really good really 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 good fun it's a good tale yeah it is a good tale on a scale <laughs> of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 9.5. Okay. Did you like what I did there? I like that, yeah. <laughs> well, we're thin with that one. Oh. <laughs> Dan. Okay. This, this, what have we got? Is this a big surprise one? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. More German. <laughs> did, I, did I just say the name Min Lee? Did, you did yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first is German releases for Ultra Force 2, which is actually known as Devil Hunters. This is the uh, movie where at the end, the end scene, you've got Sybil Hu and Moon Lee and uh, Ray Lu jumping from a window and an explosion goes off. Now Ray gets out quick enough, but Moon and Sybil don't, and they suffered like third degree burns, and they were what? they were out for scarred for life. Four to five months they were out, yeah. So at the end of it, it actually rolls credits for newspaper clippings and news reports, as it will. It kind of wishes the starlets kind of like you know, uh, hope you get better soon. <laughs> Thanks Whoa. for all your work. But it's a pretty good film, as far as I can remember. Seeing again, something years ago, I caught on. YouTube, but yeah. when I saw this, this was on eBay for like two fifty or something. Yeah. Uh, again, only in German, but I just wanted to give it a shot, you yeah. know. And I, I haven't heard of the distributors before called Laser Paradise. It doesn't look like anything exciting. Their no, covers their, their are covers are shit. Shite. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> There's been no effort made there whatsoever. None whatsoever. Not even fucking English. So subtitles. I'm not expecting much from it. Um. And then we have War City oh, Platoon. Okay, so you've been telling me about this War City yes, thing. Yes, War City Platoon. So War City is another Philip Coe movie, mm -hmm. directed by Philip Coe, but produced by Godfrey Ho, the infamous Godfrey Ho, um, who everyone seems to have a problem with, and I just find him hilariously oh, oh, wonderful. Oh. Yes, so this is pretty much getting as many Westerners in Hong Kong as you possibly can to make a thriller with. Okay. Throw in a few Hong Kong people that you've never heard of. Yeah. Do some wild stunts. And none of the war cities, I think there's seven war cities, and none of them are connected. So it's just like a run of movies that are... I mean, it's pretty much like every Asian franchise. Yeah, every other franchise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> one, although called Platoon, I think is number seven. I think it also was under the title of LA Takedown or something like that. Okay. Um, the most noticeable thing is on the front cover here, they have Ching Garlock, who does not star in the movie any which way whatsoever, but he's in his Green Hornet. 
in the mid nineties he made a Green Hornet movie with Lam Chin Ying, Mr. Vampire. Yeah. And that's the outfit that he wears for it. So that's obviously not from the movie. This guy is um, only German again, but it was for a couple of quid. And I just wanted to start seeing how the war cities looked. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there we go. That's me. Excellent. Number three package, number, number four three. title, but number four title. So my Give next your, one, your Reese Russell. Another my Reese Russell. Oh. Another Criterion. Oh here, do you like the Criterion? <laughs> I'm a, actually no. Because if my parents watch this, I'm dead if they yeah. say how much I just spent no, on don't, Criterion don't sets. It. Let's just say it's we're into like quite a bit. Four figures. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so this one here, this is a Criterion edition of Jan Troel, who mm. is a Swedish director. Swedish. Um, his uh, two films, The Immigrants and The New Land, which is about um, the, uh, uh, oh God, what do you call them? Carl and Christina, Carl Oscar and Christina, um, played by Max von Sydow and mm. Liv Ullman, mm -hmm. two of the greatest actors of all time. Mm -hmm. um, they play immigrants, obviously, who leave Sweden to go to Sweden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you like Sweden. how I did that? Sweden, I didn't Sweden. actually mean that. Who leaves Sweden, <laughs> Sweden <laughs> to go to America to settle down. Mm -hmm. um, these are very long films. Each is are almost... Are sequels? sequels? Yeah, so yeah, the um, they're based on, on books. Mm. Um, so they are, and they, I mean, it's basically about this, about, um, foreigners settling in America yeah. because there was a lot of, um, a Swedish lot of and Polish and lots of, so this is probably, in my opinion, the definitive movies on settlement mm. in America. Okay. They are absolutely stunning. Jan Troel is a phen phenomenal actor, he, or phenomenal director. He takes his time telling these stories they're all they're both about three and a half hours each just slow burner so well not really no, so there's, I mean, enough, there's going enough going on enough family drama and stuff going on in them to to keep you hooked okay and um, they're just they're just fantastic fantastic films you can't go wrong with Max von Sydow or yeah. Liv Ullman unless they're in really bad movies yeah. but they're <laughs> even still they're and really, really good there. and they have and <laughs> um, this has quite a bit of um I was surprised whenever I seen the special features mm -hmm. for this so this uh, comes with a brand new high ditch uh, restoration for both of the films. Mm -hmm. um, new introduction by theatre and film critic John Simon. New conversation between film scholar Peter Cowley and mm -hmm. director Jan Twell. New interview with actor Liv Ullman and To Paint With Pictures, which is an hour-long documentary from 2005, which I have seen before, but it is really good on the Lovely. making of the film. And we also have a new English subtitle, subtitle translation. Mm, from, so From Sweden. From Sweden. So it's... Yeah, it's going to be weird. Yeah, well, you know what? Well, <laughs> we'll get you know pictures and um, it's great. So both films come on two separate discs. So Very nice. Because Very they're nice. so long, and again, you get your little bit clipped in. Well, it's so them. long, and you get a lot of special features, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's mm. a lot of special features in this, and um, again, your oh lovely little look at this. essay booklet. Essay. Um, and it's just, it's just, I. I mean, I mean he wasn't the most handsome man, let's face it. Max? Yes. I mean, no, you know what? I mean, no. I think he wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, I mean, these films are absolutely incredible. Really, really good. Worth it. Criterion is always worth getting. If you like, again, world cinema and mm. obscure films that you haven't heard of or seen or watched in a very long time, guarantee Criterion are going to release them. Yeah. They probably should do more Chinese films, they but that's should. never going to happen. That's in the hands of idiot films, my. <laughs> You've got to live up to Criterion. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, and you really, do. really, 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 really good films. Okay, cool. So, yeah, See, I was these, very excited. These are things I, I do want, and I, I would love to get, I mean, obviously Warriors of the Rainbow I will be getting. Yes. But because there's still so much from the Far East that I want, mm -hmm. I will delay my buys and those kind of things, yeah. you know, it's, it's, which is important. There's well, just too much out there. I'll buy them and stuff. I'll watch them and I'll tell you how amazing they Yeah, are. you do that. Well, you most do of that. these films I've all, that I've got this week, I've seen already, but I just mm. wanted them on Blu-ray. When, when they look their best, of course. You Absolutely. Do. So, yeah. Emigrants That's the and curse the new, of the collecting, new right? It is the curse of you, collecting. You Once you start, get... you just can't stop. I mean, I've it's like Pringles stuff there on video, yeah. on DVD twice, and then on Blu-ray, mm. um, and then I've probably recorded it off TV from. Well, I got or... rid of all of my DVDs. Oh, did you really? Yeah, so I only have Blu-rays left. 
So um, there's a lot of things that I'm like, get, 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 mm. which is why over the last four days, I've been like, oh, bye, bye, yeah. bye, bye, bye. And then I looked at my bank account That's cool. and went, choo, 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 choo. oh, <laughs> did I really spend that much money? Scary. But I did, and it's my bank. It, no, it's Every it's penny. If it makes you happy, and right now, when you can't holiday, what else are you going to spend it on? Let's be honest. Absolutely. Sorry, just really. Yeah, so yeah. There you go. Emigrants and the New Land. Double oh, feature right. for twenty four ninety nine on not, Amazon. Not or, bad at all. You can't, by the way, you cannot. These are actually, okay, so I just wanted to say. You work away. These are British, because you see the British classification on them. They 15. Are. These are sold if you are not a fan of Amazon, you don't want to support giant conglomerates. Mm. BFI. Oh, yeah. Do um, UK criteria. Right, they they, do, they, they do the UK criteria. So I got this off the BFI website. Okay. Um, twenty four ninety nine, and um, but they don't do all of them. You can't. Uh, not get every single, criterion. Yeah. The actual Criterion website you can't import from the okay. US to here because they're region locked, unfortunately. But if, unless you're multi. -region. Unless you well, you can't import them unless you buy them on Amazon.com. So mm -hmm. you can't even go to Criterion's website. But that was just to let you guys know that extra little bit trivia. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, my friend, one, two, three, four, I don't know, I'm losing count now, is The it? next one! The Blu-ray UK release of The Assassin. I loved this film. You love it. It is a very beautiful movie with Shukri, who I absolutely adore. I like her too. I mean, it's a regular release from Studio Canal, there's nothing. Mm. It's hardly Flash oh, Gordon. Oh no, let's it's not. It's hardly Flash Gordon. Let's not. Death but is Studio it worth, Canal. no, 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 definitely <laughs> not. But is it, you know, is it a film that's worth dollying up for you know well I think yes I think because it was so beautiful I liked it mm. and I think it was worth dollying up they could have been doing with some more special features on it I think so there's I mean there's a couple of behind the scenes a bit of background on the actors mm. yeah but hey at least I got it. I mean, if it's yeah. one I've been waiting to get for a long time, and right? She's like, she's like one of these actresses that never ages. She never ages. I mean, I have stuff of hers there from 25, 30, I, 30 right? years ago, and she still looks exactly... It's like, she's the female Andy Lau. Yes. <laughs> never yeah. ages. Never gets old. <laughs> but that's good. Film. I'm glad because um, I'm trying to... Obviously, I'm doing the review book. Yeah, and there's certain ones I don't want to go back to because when I lay that, when I design all that and lay it out, I don't want to find another A or number mm. to go back to. So I'm trying to get all those A's in, okay, and have it ready to go. So I don't need to go back and readjust or re Photoshop or redo anything. So at the moment, are we A okay? We're, we're, I think we're A okay. Good. Very ah. good. That was good work. Wow, I'm you're getting it. I know. <gasps> oh. Again, it's another one I've seen, but I had to get it on the Blu-ray, La Vie en Rose. Oh, gosh, wow. It's an oldie. Yeah, what? Well, I mean, it's been out a while, you know. I mean, 20, hey, yeah. 20 years. Uh, it's one of my favourite performances of all time by mm -hmm. Marion Cotillard. Um, beautiful French film about the life of Edith Piaf, one of the greatest singers of all time. Wonderful. This is, I, I mean, Marion's performance in this is... Quite a lot of awards there. Well, she, well, she won the Oscar mm -hmm. for Best Actress deservedly she completely embodies Edith Piaf and even th as Edith Piaf got older and her voice got yeah like mm. this here I mean the way Marion portrays her it's, it's like Edith Piaf has come alive um, it's absolutely it's a great autobiography it's got good special features on it too so you have disc one which is Blu-ray which is the film mm -hmm. that's all you have on the first one and then disc two you have your uh, DVD special features Ooh, got a okay. bunch of um, deleted scenes Behind the scenes featurettes on the acting, on the production, mm -hmm. Edith in New York, and um, things like that there. But it's all in French, beautiful French subtitles, mm. really, really wonderful movie. And I just had to get it on Blu ray because I had it on DVD and not. got rid of it. And it is it's one you a just phenomenally, have. phenomenally good film. So, love this film. It's well worth watching simply for the performance if you've never seen it. Um, if you haven't, it doesn't really matter, but I'd watch it for the performance. Okay. Really, really good film. Um, it's really good, apparently. Yeah, it is. <laughs> UK go. release. It is. It's from Icon actually released this. So okay. And yeah. They put, they put special features on it. They did. Wow. Yes. Wow. I know. Shocked. Okay. <gasps> this, this is, is well this, is a non this is surprise. This, this is, is a non from H. Surprise. This is from H Block. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I. Do you know what? As much as I appreciate sellers wrapping things really well, sometimes they just go. Fuck sick. It's very true. 
And that's that, you know that crappy that's, Yeah, it's like Christmas yeah. paper you would put into your... Sweet baby Jean. Someone that you didn't like. <laughs> okay. So, how do you solve a problem like the wrapping? How do you catch the fucker and pin him down? Hey! Oh, oh there we go. Yay! Oh, finally! <gasps> what is that? Oh my god, George, oh my don't god. freak me out. I am so excited. This is one I have been dying to get for possibly about 20 years. Zodiac Killers with Andy Lau. I am so excited. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, it's a Fortune Star release as well. Directed so. by Anne Hoy, who, uh, if you've seen any of Anne's stuff, she is a phenomenal filmmaker. But very, like, you know, Hong Kong Drop cinema high. can be very off the wall. And she yes. keeps it very straight, but oh. brilliantly so. So I am dying to see this. Happy days, mm. yeah? Yeah. Okay, we got English subtitles, Chinese subtitles, Cantonese. So it's only the one language, which and is what it was filmed in. It's because NTSC, it's a Hong Kong. So it's region one as well. Yeah. Uh, free, well, region free. Region free. Ooh. Region free. I am happy. Yeah. And Cherry Zhang from Wild Search. Remember I had Wild Search. Oh, Chinese yes. Popular. Last week. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's that. I am happy. Very happy. This is going into player tonight because it's one I've been dying for. Oh god, sorry, can't get for a long win. time. It's probably like right, Mark, get through the rest of yours really, really quick. Like, hurry up and go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, do it. Okay, next one, another French masterpiece. Oh, here, Amelie. Oh, for goodness sake, Audrey Tattoo. We were just Jean Pierre Jeunet, Marc Caro, two of the greatest collaborators in French history. Mm -hmm. They they did. Have you seen many of their films? No. They did a film called Delicatessen together. Oh yeah, and yes, of The course. City of Lost Children. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, I have them. Yeah. Go. Okay. And um, they also did Alien Resurrection together. Yeah. But the last we talk about that better. We do love yeah, you. I mean, the name was familiar. Yeah. So Jean Pierre Jeunet directed this absolutely delightful mm. romantic comedy. It's just so beautiful. I beautiful. love it. Mm -hmm. It's so... I haven't seen it since its release, actually. Really? Yeah. So how I... long is that now? Well, that was... It was released in 2000. Mm, so, so, yeah. Jesus. So, quite simply, it's perfect. Said total film. Total film. I don't agree with much of what you say. But it is... <laughs> it is quite simply True perfect. True story. Okay. It's just... It's so beautiful. It's so whimsical. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. It's such a feel-good film. Yeah. And... Yeah. I say get it. Lots get of special it. features on this. You've got commentary with the director in English. So that's you can cool. actually, yeah, that's actually listen to it. usually a rare it. thing when you have a foreign director. That yeah, I know. That it's in English. And it's, and it's a French <laughs> film. Um, you've got making of, you've got some deleted scenes, screen tests, Audrey Tattoos. Tattoo. Tattoo. Audrey Tattoos, um, screen tests, and her funny faces, which is actually really interesting to watch the special feature because she like... gets like cuts from her? Um, yeah, so it's like a whole montage of the faces that she pulls. Okay, and she's interesting. Quite, it's quite dynamic, actually. She tells yeah. quite a story with her funny faces. So, really, really good. This is, um, who's this? Momentum Pictures. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who always do pretty decent releases they're here okay. in the UK. Yeah, but okay. Zameli. And uh, watch it if you've never watched it. Again, one of probably the 100 greatest films ever made. It Beautiful. Is, it is fun. Yeah. It is fun. Okay. Airmail. Oh, don't even spell your name right. Look, they didn't. They left. They left an e out. They did but always. it's from Thailand. Okay. Seventy six baht. Do you know I've been sitting on this phone for twenty minutes and it hasn't vibrated yet? That's because nobody's ringing you because I'm here beside you. Because it's the only one that contacts me. O M. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it what? Is it what I think it is? I don't know. What do you think it is? <laughs> Oh. oh no, it's not. It's I mean, it's game it's, it's what the Okay, this is again something I have been waiting from the mid '90s to see. <laughs> this is Andy Lau and the gorgeous Aaron Kwok. Oh, Aaron! <gasps> uh, Sweep me off my feet. I would leave my husband for Aaron Kwok, and uh, uh, Rosamund Kwan. Me. I think is there. <laughs> this is yeah. Uh, Rosamund Kwan, Ng Man Tat, Sandra Ong, I mean... Rosamund Kwan is in this? Yes. Oh my gosh, wow, very nice. I have been dying to see this for such a long time. Uh, NTSC, Region Free, Thai, English, Chinese, uh, subtitles, some trailers, and Cantonese language, which I am buzzing for. And that's actually quite a nice embossed cover. Yeah, it is. The, the cover so is nice. Is. Embossed, Let actually. me see if I can just pop this open quickly. Okay, um, and so Game Boy Kids. For the te yes, tell me what Game Boy Kids Game Boy Kids, Kids is. is obviously in the mid 90s when Game Boy was still kind of popular back mm -hmm. then, wasn't it? 
Uh, you were well, you were like a baby, I can. <laughs> I was leaving high school. I did play a Game Boy. Well, it was you a know, popular once time. I did consider actually swindling a Game Boy onto an airplane once. Right? Yeah. I don't know why I felt like swindling it. And I thought that I'd maybe be able to get the Game Boy up my arse. Wow. And my that, mom was a, actually, that was a different game. My mum actually asked me, <laughs> are the batteries going to be in it? <laughs> well now, that's something you'd expect to Like say. that makes a difference, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case they get rusty. Yeah. You know? So there we go. Nice embossed lettering on yeah. the slip. Which is quite nice. Yeah. I'm really digging this. I now I'll be honest, obviously nothing against Thailand, but there's a lot of bootlegs kicking around there. And I was expecting the worst. This was about seven pounds. <laughs> and I'm so happy with it. Good. Yeah. Very nice. I'm very, very pleased. In fact, I'm gonna go back onto eBay to this buyer or to this seller, sorry, and see what else they've got. Irons. Arn. Shh. What do you say that's Sandra Ng? Mm. Mm. So Sandra Ng. Sandra Ng is from, uh, you'll know, know her from a lot of uh, Choi Sing Chi movies. She's in Golden Chicken. She's an incredible actress. She's actually, for me, she's one of the the, the funniest okay. female actors ever. Okay. She's, mm. a, she's amazing. Ng Man Tat. Ng Man Tat is the older guy you see with the moustache in the Choi Sing Chi movies that you'll he'll always be with. He's either, either the uncle or the old friend, or someone like that. You'll okay. you'll notice him when, once you see right, him. But him. Yes. Where's this from? Thailand. Oh, from Thailand. That's it's from Thailand, but it's funny. a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Yeah, um, it's actually not bad. I'm I mean, really it's... happy with that. Seven pounds off eBay, and I'm going back for more. <gasps> That's my second Andy Lau movie. Thank God. The children. I'm thinking of them. I'm <laughs> thinking, what an amazing. Okay. Well, they've learned to read subtitles really quick, my yeah. children. So I have got. What the fudge? I am a big fan of Lars von Trier. You are indeed, yep. by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. I really am. <laughs> um, I got this, this box set is actually really hard to get and Amazon just kind of popped it back up again. Oh, like here, Randomly, Mark. yeah. Um, for for twenty four ninety nine, I couldn't believe it. So I was like, oh my God, let's get it. So this is his Shock and Awe mm. collection, which features um, mostly his, uh, they're all English Infamous language. Or English language. Minutes. Yeah, I mean, Breaking the Waves, which is possibly uh, his second best film after Nymphomaniac, oh, Antichrist, yeah. Melancholia, which is very, very underrated, starring mm -hmm. Kirsten Dunst and Nymphomaniac. This box set features mm -hmm. um, all four films with a plethora of special features. You've got mm -hmm. commentaries, behind the scenes documentaries, interviews, trailers to latest disc, things. It's five disc. Um, I would kind of take the mic, but can I be bothered? Um, <laughs> But um, again, it's, it's artificial eye. They just know how to release like good films. And uh, the thing about this, which is why I've got the next one, is because this version of the box set only features the theatrical version of Nymphomaniac right. 1 and 2. So it features the, so, um, basically... This is kind of like Warriors of the Rainbow, eh? Yeah. So you've got your each individual little box, which is mostly the poster art for each film. Antichrist is incredible. If you've never seen it, watch it. It's so good. Breaking the Waves is an understated classic. It's an actual masterpiece. Emily Watson is phenomenal in it. Oh, wow. So, yes. So, lots and lots of special features. He's an amazing director. It's a shame that they didn't put Dance from the Dark, Dogville, and Manderley, which mm, are three of his other really cool experimental bit. films, which are amazing. Dance from the Dark is one of my favourite movies. One of the best musicals I think ever made, actually. Wow. Yeah. So um, but I really wish that, yeah, I know. I wish that they had a bit like his, um, you know, Dogma 95. Mm, so films like The Idiots and um, Europa. Yes. And, and we also like say that. really filled that out yeah. to be the ultimate collection. Yeah, but they didn't. But it's still worth it. And then I was like, well, I just have to have more nymphos in my life. <laughs> it's true. So <laughs> why go theatrical when I can go five and a half hours? Director's what? cut, yeah. That's an impressive. So one. um, yeah, great cover. Mm -hmm. Two discs, parts one and parts two. There's about eighty. Yeah, well, it says an extra eighty minutes of previously unseen material on two discs. Right. This film is so divisive mm -hmm. because of the content, because mm. it actually features real actors having real sex in the film. Um, but it's art. Yeah, and no, that's what I, I say to my husband every time. <laughs> It's art, and uh, I think that we have this very 
unusual relationship with sex yeah. when it's on screen. Yeah, well, we do in the, this. In the UK, in the we UK, do. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. European filmmakers, not so much. No. Um, which is what I love about Lars is that he brought that kind of whole kind of European sensibility mm. to American films and created some very graphic and some very voracious, well, voraciously sexual films. He's got away with it, right? And he's got away with that. And it's really, really good. Charlotte Gainsbourg is in this film. She's a great actress. She also appears in Melancholy and Antichrist. Mm. She's, a, she's a great um, European actress. She does a great job in this film. And I think that this is literally a masterpiece wow. of film and um, like it says in the back size does matter is it hard to watch <laughs> or would it send you let's a flat? just say that um i dare any man to go through that without having a wank wow now that is a bold statement i'm as controversial as the director <laughs> <laughs> What's next, George? Oh, okay. Well, that, well, fuck, that's like a packet of... Oh, packet you of... got... Oh, George, you've got sellotape. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave that one to last because this one's already ripped, so I'll go with this. From... Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So I know what these last two are and I'm very excited for them because well, like I have ordered two VHSs and this oh. one is... This is for nostalgic reasons. It's flapping about there, very... <laughs> Robotrix. <gasps> with Amy Yip. The Hong Kong movie that I wore, now obviously I've wore a lot of my tapes out from watching them so much, but this is so wild that I just loved it. <laughs> this Robo is tricks. like, yeah, wow. like a female Terminator, Hong Kong style, martial arts, female robots kicking ass, big boobs, okay, I need to crazy see costumes. But this video, so the Hong Kong classics label, I have a ton of. Yeah. Um, and I only now am I really missing them. Mm. Like I've wore them out. I either sold them off because I oh. thought they weren't good at that time. Not this one, yeah. but certain ones that I just got rid of. Like the the media books I've been getting from Germany. Yeah. You know, they're all, when I had them all on video, I thought they weren't quite good. Now they were cut. They weren't clean. They were, you know, full mm -hmm. screen and they'd lost something. But now getting them back again and know, and having a much deeper love for Hong Kong cinema. Yeah. And I'm actually looking for VHSs to, just to go back to that. VHSs are still really pretty. Oh, they just bring back so many memories. Yeah. Uh, so for all you youngsters out there. Can we actually there? ask sellers to rewind the tape before <laughs> you sell You're it? You're being charged £1.50 you, yeah. for not rewinding yes. your tape. We want one pound fifty so, refund on this. I don't know how this will work like a DVD. So you've got, this is your cassette box. Uh, <gasps> so George. when you push this little button here, the flap comes down and you see the tape. The film itself. <laughs> Some people may not even know what a VHS is. I know, that's why I'm explaining it. Yeah. So this is when you've watched No Wonder Woman. <laughs> but there VHS we go. for dummies. I oh, am okay. very, very happy. The tape looks I like, like it's, in, it's well. in great condition. That's some split kick that she's uh, doing. I there, mean, isn't it? wow. It's as well she's wearing. It's as well she's wearing something. I think it's actually been blacked out. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, I, do you know what? It's a fantastic film. It's just been released on Blu-ray in Hong Kong. And I Ooh. will get it. It's a 25 quid at the minute, though. Mm. Um, but this was a fiver or less. This was maybe three pounds. Wow. And I thought, well, why the hell I not? Thought that, yeah. I thought it would have been more because There's a lot of expect People are trying to rip the shit out of things regards to, in regards to Hong Kong movies on VHS, on eBay. They're really asking stupid money. Mm. If that's the case, I'm worth a fortune. Yeah. But when you find a wee bargain like that, I'm straight in there. Yeah. But yes, I'm very happy. Have you any more? One more. Okay, you do one more, then I'll try and start opening, okay. opening this. So for the next <laughs> one, George, we're going down under. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going down to Australia for this one. All the way to the bottom. <laughs> the wetter, the better. Seriously. This is a masterpiece from Nick Rogue. Ooh. Walkabout. Oh yes. How exciting. I'm... That's gorgeous. Oh, give me a second. Do you get and it even smells good. Okay, so walk about. This is a film by the very famous director Nick Rogue, uh -huh. who is probably best known for directing Don't Look Now with Donald Sutherland and Jennifer oh, yes. He did The Man Who Fell to Earth with David Bowie, performance yep. with Mick Jagger. 
um, and a lot of films with Teresa Russell, who he was married to. But this is one of his earliest films. Uh, it stars Jenny Ogader. Ogader? Jenny Ogader? What She's is famous for The Railway Children. Yes. Yeah, and she was in An American Werewolf in London. Oh, okay. She's also most recently been in Call the Midwife in the UK. Mm. But this is from Second Sight Films who I'm falling in love with. They right. are releasing some of the best the stuff. The best stuff. Yes. Yeah. And for once, we actually have a UK based company that don't ship to the US. So whenever I look on Second Sight's mm -hmm. Instagram page, it's like, do you ship to the US? No. And I'm like, ha! Ah! Because we don't get a lot of stuff over here. So brand new commentary from Nick Rogue and David Thompson. Mm -hmm. um, interview with uh, producer um, Sally Levitoff. Um, Luke's Walkabout, um, which is actually a documentary with Nick's son, Luke. Oh, right, okay. And you interview with Jenny Ogger. Jenny in the Outback, it's called. I'm still, I'm still Jenny in the Out. No, it doesn't very, sound the same, right? Very, very inventive. Um, and uh, Remembering Rogue, which is a fantastic documentary, which is narrated by Danny Boyle on oh, this. Okay. But this box set is really, it's limited to 3,000, so I'm really glad that it's I got gorgeous. it. It's gorgeous. It is. And you, so you have your... I like this black. I like the black like boxes, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The much, much nicer. Although, do you know what? I thought they would do that with um, the upcoming Friday the 13th one, and they've gone for the clear. Oh, I know oh, it's kind really? of odd. That's I know it's not out yet, but no, someone got it pre-released mm. to review that, and I was like, why have they gone for the yeah. clear? But anyway, so yeah, you've got single disc, it's all you need. But what's so good about this yeah. is that you get the original book. Mm -hmm by James Marshall. This is the book that it was actually right. adapted from. The actual novel Very or nice. novella that it was ad uh, adapted from. Lovely. You get the first draft screenplay. What? I know. I love the covers. The yeah. This wow. is the, yeah, the actual first draft screenplay, which is a little bit different to what was put on screen because it's That's quite nice. a heavy film. Have you ever seen Walkabout? No, I haven't. Um, it's basically about these, this uh, we were talking father, about this last yeah, week. father who yeah, brings yeah. in his, takes his daughter and son to the Australian night back to kill them. He, That's right. He fails, unfortunately. It's a very intense couple well, of 15 minutes. And, um, did I say unfortunately? You said unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it, unfortunately for him, for the movie, it's really good. And then they meet this young Aborigine. Um, boy in the outback and they go on a walkabout. Oh, walk Yeah, about. and it's very, it's, it is a really good movie um, and the first draft screenplay is a little dif different because mm -hmm. there's things that would have been too dark, I think, for the film. Okay. Um, and then you get your little behind the scenes essay booklet as well. Very nice. And very this nice. makes me, yep, yeah, makes me very, very excited for Second Sight's upcoming seven disc Dawn of the Dead box set, which I can't wait to get, which is coming this in the next like two weeks. Crazy. Yeah, I know, right? So that's Walkabout. Um, you get this directly from Sec. Do not buy this from anybody except from Second Sight Films mm -hmm. because they are absolutely amazing. We, we do They're like putting... to support all independent labels. Yeah, all independent labels and direct. Second Sight are doing such an amazing job with these special editions. Mm. They're really, really bringing their A game. So I say support them. And with the Dawn of the Dead box set, just let you know, if you pre-order, you get four special Art cards oh. with it. Just let you know they're doing that. How much for that? This year? How much was that and how much was Dawn of the Dead? Uh, this was thirty ninety nine on their website. Okay, that's not terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Dawn of the Dead 7 disc box set which has two comic books and a behind the scenes thing. So four four Blu-rays, three CDs, two comic books and a behind the scenes book. Six to nine ninety nine. Okay, that's yeah. not terrible. Free delivery because it's over oh, fifty that's, quid. That's and this and came then... like in like literally a day. Wow. Okay. It was super quick. So thank you, Second Sight. Love it. Well done, Second Sight. Yeah. Well, I know, I don't know what this is. I thought I had it open there. And this is my second VHS purchase. That I do the truffle shuffle? No, it's not the truffle shuffle. I don't know if you could do the truffle shuffle. I could. Like, keep eating. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Burning Paradise. A part of this. Ringo Lamb's mm. dark, dark, dark take on Fung Sayuk. Another From, Fung Sayuk film. Well, oh so this came out in the mid nineties when the new wave, kind of like directors were making it big. So you had Choi Hart with Once Upon a Time and all this mm. kind of thing. Ringo Lamb um, went down the road. Now Jet Li, obviously Jet Li had done Fung Sayuk one and two, which is the legend released. Yes, as the legend. Yeah. Um, which was very funny. Brilliant choreography from Corey Yoon. Um, but Ringo Lam took that character and went real, really, really, really dark with him. 
and this is all blood and decapitations and violence and there's, there's a little comedy in it but you know it it's not hysterical i love it it's been so hard to get Really? Especially on DVD. I don't know why this hasn't... And Ringo Lamb died now two years ago. I don't mm -hmm. know why this hasn't had a massive re-release and a clean-up. Uh, but I had this on the Made in Hong Kong label. And I miss Made in Hong Kong so much because they always released some crackers. The seller off eBay saw me... Rewind like, the tape. He wrote, no, he actually says he hasn't watched it. Oh. So this is pretty much... Practically new. He said when he had bought it, he had just watched a bootleg copy and he didn't need to watch it. He just wanted to own it, but he didn't need to watch it again. Mm. But Made in Hong Kong, as did Eastern Heroes videotapes, they always give you these wonderful notes inside mm. of the actors, the directors, and what, what else was coming out from the label. And I love this. Whenever, whenever I was like a late teen, buying these in Belfast and coming home on the bus... I would have these ripped open and I'd be reading everything inside and mm. I look like some... Before nerd. before you would have got mugged. Before I would have got mugged or before I could drive. But yeah, it's <laughs> um, it's a cracker wee film. In fact, Rise uh, of the Legend, which is, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. has come on UK Netflix, is... It got really, like, attacked by critics saying how dark it was. It was a reboot of Once Upon a Time in China. But mm -hmm. for me, it was, it was a reboot done... At, for Wong Fei Hung, like this was done for Feng Saiyuk. Rise of the Legend is really dark, it's really violent, as this was for Feng Saiyuk. Okay. So, Burning Paradise, if you can get your hands on it, do so. It's a rare one to get, and I friggin' love it. And the fact that I've got it on VHS it's the full really, version, really it? excites me. Yeah, full uncut. I'm so happy. And with Made in Hong Kong and Eastern Heroes and all those kind of videos, it's the trailers as well at the start. I used to love that about VHS, yeah. watching the trailers. Some amazing trailers. Um, and I'm so happy, yeah. That's why you really always made your next decision. Yeah. Wasn't it? Based Whenever, on the trailers. When these guys, when these labels started coming out and they had all these cracker trailers, like, I could not wait. I was so excited. And you'd wait for the next week to go into town and get the next release, mm -hmm. and or the next month even, because they were so delayed. But Because mm -hmm. you didn't have the internet or anything. You just had to yeah. wait on something coming out. But... I'm missing my videos. I'm feeling nostalgic, and it's getting old. This is good. I'm getting old. It comes with age. It's, I'm not gonna lie. But there we go. My last one, Burning Paradise. Woo! Um, yeah. So that was a big buy this week. Yeah, there was from a lot both of, this. of us. Yeah. Um, I think we we'll have to take out a second mortgage soon. And I'm running out of shelf space fast. Yes, me too. Actually, I'm gonna have to redress the studio. I'm actually. Yeah. Oh. oh I'm gonna put some fun. shelving on the roof. Yeah. Perhaps. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. See ya.